Well, howdy, folks. This is Heat from the Groovy Gold Hunter, and you know what time it is. I'm in my garage, and it is time to do a pay dirt review. But this time, we're going to do a little bit different. We've got not one, not dos, but three pay dirts that we're going to do. It's a three pay dirt eBay challenge, and we're going to get started right after this intro, so let's get it on. All right, here we go. What I decided to do this time is not buy one pay dirt, but buy three pay dirts. And I screwed up on one of the pay dirts because I kind of wasn't paying attention and I got tricked, but I'm going to put it in anyway. So what I decided to do is I got on eBay and instead of me just finding a new pay dirt company that I haven't reviewed before, I wanted to find three that I haven't done before. And I wanted to find three different pay dirts for the same price. And I did, but one of them I've done before and I hate the fact that I bought it, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in the mix. Each one of these costs $25, but this was my screw up. And you're going to say, yeah, you're an idiot, Heath. This is the first one. I got a freaking bag of golden pay dirt off of eBay. I don't want anyone to talk about it. I thought it was another pay dirt. It wasn't. It's golden pay dirt. But we're going to compare it to these other two anyway. Now, these two I have never bought before. And let's see. The second one is called Screaming Eagle Gold Panning Pay Dirt. And again, 25 bucks give or take and this is the third one dirty mines this is it dirty mines established 2023 so yeah these are the three pay dirts we're going to do we'll do one at a time we'll see which one's the best out of all three i hate to include golden pay dirt but i've waited a couple weeks to get these and i'm not just going to do two of them i'll just go ahead and do all three of them and see who comes out on top so yeah we're going to start with golden pay dirt and get that one out of the way because i can't believe i bought golden pay dirt again But yeah, we'll start with that one and uh, I'll put it in a bow and we'll do what we always do. We'll classify it, pan it, see how much gold we get. So let's get started. All right, so what I'll do with these, I, I really don't need to because they're not very big bags, but this one is actually a, the biggest out of the three. It says it weighs two pounds. I'm just going to go ahead and weigh it. Yeah, two pounds, 0 0.3 ounces. We'll pour it in a bow. And there it is. Place hand. I'm going to do a quick classification. I'm not going to classify these down too much like I normally do. I'll probably do 10 mesh, 20 mesh, 40 mesh, and then minus 40. So we're just going to dump all this in. This is the 10 mesh. And like I always do, I'll show you the first classification, then I'll do the rest. And I need to get on my eBay account real quick and find out exactly how much I did pay for this to give you an exact amount. I wanted to find three pay dirt bags of $25. I just wanted to find $25 out the door as close as I could. And there it is. All right, let's fast forward the rest. Okay, so here it is. That's the fastest I've ever done a time lapse, isn't it? There's the fourth classifications. I'm not going to classify it any more than that. I give this pay dirt no respect whatsoever when it comes to classifying. But here it is, starting with everything that is plus 10 mesh, 20 mesh, 40 mesh, and all of that is minus 40. And we're gonna start there and we're gonna go all the way up. So let's get started on this. Bow. I'm gonna do a lot of this. This is gonna make my water muddy and I hate muddy water. So let me stratify this real good. I, I've kind of got an attitude towards this pay dirt. This is how much I don't like golden pay dirt. And I'm so mad at myself that I accidentally bought it. And I didn't even realize it until it came in the mail. I'm like, I didn't order golden pay dirt. I'm not stupid. And then I looked it up and I'm like, I'm stupid. I ordered golden pay dirt. You're being an idiot. <clears throat> Why? They're tricky. I'm telling you, they're tricky. All right, let's tap this back. Try to pop that out a little bit. I don't even know if you can see it, but there's like maybe three or four super tiny specks of gold. Suck that up. All right, let's pour the next batch in. And uh, once I get done stratifying this, I will get back with you. Okie dokie, that is enough stratifying. Now let's start panning this crap. I mean, gold, I mean, pay dirt.
Okie dokie. That is enough of the panning part. Now let's see if we got anything. Nope, not a, wow. All right, so I got one more right there. That's all of the minus 40. Do the same thing, stratify it, be right back. That's good enough. And nada. I wonder if that first batch I did was just accidental gold or if it wasn't gold at all. Or maybe it was left in my pan from a previous one. Either way, it wasn't measurable. And here it is. The plus 40 minus 20. Probably do this in threes. This should be really easy to pan. The first one had surprisingly a lot of black sands. Normally, you don't get a whole lot of black sands in that golden pay dirt. That stuff just pours right out of the pan. I could probably pan this to nothing, but I do see gold. There's our first bit of gold. Let me tap it back. Small flakes, but so flat and light. Look at it just, I've got a ton of jet dry in there. Look at that, I just stuck my finger in it, so that didn't help, but look how light that gold is. You see that top one floating? But yeah, we got, what, five pieces of gold? And that is typical golden pay dirt. Super flat, small flakes. Those are probably even weighable. All right, second batch. So there it is. I went ahead and just poured the entire thing in there because it really wasn't enough to do two more pans. So I'm just doing one big pan and let's start panning. Quick tap, hold the phone, here goes my floaters. Ugh, those damn floaters. It's almost like, what is that kind of gold that people will, they'll put it in a uh, bottle and fill it up with water. Paper gold, flake gold, I don't know what they call it. But look, as soon as I put water on it, it immediately starts floating. That just shows you how light the gold is. And it's so light it killed my lights. It messed with my electricity. I gotta get that fixed. It was supposed to have been fixed, but they didn't fix it. So I got four flakes of gold. That's all of the 40 mesh. Let's go to the uh, plus 20 minus 10. This should be two pans as well. Pan it back and no gold. All right, there's the rest of the 20 mesh. Let's pan. Oh, and there went a floater. Good Lord, that sucker just took off to the other side. Probably embarrassed that it's in golden pay dirt. All right, so four pieces right there. Super small, super flat. And we are done with the 20 mesh. And now it is everything plus 10. And if I get any gold in this plus 10, I will be absolutely shocked. We're just gonna pour it all in there. I'm not expecting any gold in here. keep panning because I do not see any gold and I was correct. No gold in any of that and we are done. All right, so we're done with that. That was, bleh. but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of the bottle and I'm gonna put this in a separate tub and let that dry and get that taken care of. And then we'll go to pay dirt number two, which will be the Screaming Eagle. <laughs> Okay, so this is pay dirt number two, very small bag. I would say this one probably weighs half a pound, 11 ounces. So let's cut this one open. This is very similar, very similar to golden pay dirt as far as the pay dirt itself. It almost looks identical to it. Let me look at this, make sure I'm not getting swindled by another golden pay dirt off brand. It says wilderness prospecting, veteran owned. I can't read that. It's so small. Let me get my magnifying glass. Veteran owned and operated. So there it is. And there this is. So I'm just going to classify this plus or minus 20. There's just not a lot of big material in there. And we'll just pan it out. Shake it, 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 shake it. All righty. And there is the Screaming Eagle pay dirt. Just three classifications. There is my everything 
plus 20 mesh, then that's 40 mesh, and all of that is minus 40. Three classifications. Again, we'll go down, work our way up, overhead. So before we continue on with this challenge, so this one was $25.50, the golden pay dirt that I just did. Screaming Eagle was $25 free shipping. So was Golden Pay Dirt, $25.50 plus free shipping. And then the uh, Dirty Mines, which is the last one I'll do, it was $24.99 free shipping. So those were the three that I purchased. They're all $25 bucks for the most part. One of them was $0.50 cents more than the other ones. And none of them had any guarantee or nothing like that. I'm going to look at the description just to make sure. Just says guaranteed gold inside, tamper-proof bags. Let's do the Screaming Eagle. Yeah, I bet you like that imitation of an eagle. It's dead on. I bet you were like, oh my God, he's got an eagle in the garage. It sounded so much like an eagle. Every eagle that I've ever encountered goes, caca. <laughs> this is almost the exact same pay dirt. But see, Golden Pay Dirt, they like to, they'll name their companies different. They'll have different names for their pay dirts because people kind of wised up to the Golden Pay Dirt crap. And so they started changing their names to other pay dirts. You really just don't know. They would do anything to sell a bag, to sell anything. They'll lie, cheat, steal, whatever it takes. I'm not saying this company does, but we'll find out. But yeah, I mean, this is almost a spitting image of Golden Pay Dirt. Knowing me, I bought two bags of Golden Pay Dirt. <laughs> just named differently if i see the exact same type of gold that's in there as there was in the golden pay dirt then i think i can make that claim that this is the same damn company but we'll see quick tap nothing hmm all right there's the rest of the 40 mesh and under let's pan it Quick tap and no go. Yep, no go. Hmm. Just like that other pay dirt. Woo! So many similarities. Not a whole lot of the uh, plus 40 minus 20, but there it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it all in there. All right, that's good enough. Quick tap. Oh, looky there, flat gold flakes. Just like the other one. Oh look, they all float just like golden pay dirt. How many did I get? Five, 10, about 15 pieces of gold. I cannot emphasize enough how flat these flakes are. They pancaked them to make them look bigger. I do have a new snuffer bottle. There is nothing in it. But yeah, if this is golden pay dirt and I find out for sure, then I'm going to call them out. And this will be another one that you need to avoid. There's everything that is plus 20. tap and there one no two pieces look at me two pieces of gold super flat that was a little bit thicker but balled up and there it is that is all of that screaming eagle pay dirt suck those up and we are done with that before i even pull that out and dry that the username for this ebay the screaming eagle gold panning pay dirt it says it's veteran owned and operated gold company wilderness prospecting is what it's called it's got a hundred percent positive feedback it, it's the exact same damn company these pieces is i'm telling you what let's go to the third one i'm so mad right now we'll talk about this later we'll have this discussion later after class all right guys so here is the final pay dirt right here it is dirty mines i've seen this a lot on ebay and i just never bought it so today i bought it at least we know it's not golden pay dirt or so i think i'm still gonna look up the description just to make sure totally different pay dirt there it is Woo. That's dirty mine, right? That's some dirty dirt. You can see the difference right away, right? So before we even get to this pay dirt, let's look up this. I wasn't going to do the look up the review. I'm glad I did, but I wasn't going to look up item descriptions and all that because they're only $25 bags. But if anything comes out of this positive, it's going to be a warning of the first two pay dirts that I purchased. Not a big description. 10 ounces of guaranteed gold pay dirt from Dirty 
Liberty Mines Gold Claim in Little Creek, California. We put a little extra in each bag to make sure you always get some. We give you unsearched pay dirt from our claim. Every bag is different. Each bag contains guaranteed gold. So that's it. That's the only description on there. No guaranteed amount, nothing like that. Now, he has got 98.1% positive feedback. So I'm going to assume that this will probably be a small amount, just guessing off the top of my head. So let's go ahead and start classifying this. And yeah, we'll pan this and see what this has in it. All right, so we're gonna do the same. Start out with my 10 mesh and I will do the first one. That'd be awesome if I found a big fat nugget. There is, ooh, this stuff is stinky. Oh, wow, that is some stout dirt. Oh, woo. there's the everything plus 10. And yeah, I'm going to fast forward this. I really don't need to fast forward. It's not that much more, but we'll do it anyway. Didn't take long at all, did it? Four classifications of the dirty mines right there. And we're going to start with that is everything plus 10. That is my 20 mesh, 40 mesh, and all that is minus 40. And as usual, start low, go all the way up. Overhead. It's overhead time again. Let's go to overhead time. I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction before I even do this i have not seen any gold in this whatsoever but i'm gonna bet that there's more gold in this than there is in the other two i'm smell this see i mean it's got this weird odor it's not like sewage i said sewage it's not really sewage it's just more like just old murky dirt it's hard to explain but it just does not smell well it does smell it's just got this funky odor to it almost like kind of like stagnant water smell at least it's not that little creek california little creek all right let's pan this Pan it back. Hey, we got gold. Looky here. All right, now see this looks like real pay dirt with real pay dirt gold. Meaning it looks more like somebody actually did this versus somebody went to Home Depot and bought a bag of play sand and added gold in there. We have got, looks like five pieces of gold. I'm gonna suck those up. We have stratified this, now it's time to pan. Pan this back. Oh, wow. Looky there. We got some gold, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. That's what? Five, ten, maybe fifteen super small pieces. But hey, we are done with the minus 40. And yeah, let's go to the plus 40. And here it is. I'm going to do this whole thing because there's just not a whole lot in there. The rest of it, I could probably just do in one pan. Look at all them organics. I'm going to be very careful with this just in case there is some light flakes. But again, this stuff pans off super easy. And I see gold already. Quick tap. Looky there. Oh, wow. Nice bit of gold in this one. That's a nice little bit of gold there. I'd say about 20 to 25 pieces. I'm gonna suck that up. That is all of the plus 40. Now let's do the 20 mesh. And there is the 20 mesh. Now this will probably be the last bit of gold that I see. I doubt we're gonna see anything in the 10 mesh plus. You never know, but this is what I'm talking about. Look at the organics. As soon as I stop, look at all that floating debris. All right, let's pan. We got some. Looky there. Did we get two pieces? Three pieces. That's a little rounded off piece, and those are two little flat pieces. Look at there. Three more pieces. All right, suck that up, and we are done with the 20 mesh. And yeah, we still got the 10 mesh right now. And there it is. It's got twigs in it and everything. Big rocks, smaller rocks. 
dump it all in there. All of them organics. I think it's good enough. The same rule applies. If I think I see some quartz, I'm gonna pull it out with my hand. We will find any gold in this. I don't see any gold. Quick tap. <laughs> Look at that. There is a piece of gold in my tin mesh. Look at that. I cannot believe that was in there. Yeah, that's a picker. I got a picker out of a $25 bag. It's super duper flat, but it's so wide that it will not fit. It'll fit in my fingernail, but it will not fit in my snuffer bottle. Plop it in. That was a pay dirt bag. That was a nice bag. I mean, we don't know how much it weighs yet. I don't know what kind of value we got on it, but compared to the other two, I think that one was better than both of the other ones combined. All right, I'm gonna dry everything up. I'm gonna keep them separated. I know which is which, obviously. We'll dry them up, take them upstairs, weigh them, do a comparison, and then we're gonna talk about these pay dirts. Yeah, I got some stuff to say about the first two. So I will see you up there. All right, guys, I am back in my messy, messy room. I've got so much crap in my room. I don't know what to do with it. And every time I figure out a way to put stuff up and get things straightened, I turn around and mess it up. That's another story. Let's talk about the gold. All right, this is crappy. You'll be able to notice the difference immediately. So right there is the golden pay dirt. I don't even know if that's weighable. This is the screaming eagle pay dirt aka golden pay dirt and then this this is the dirty mines look at the difference in that and these two this was actually the cheapest it was 24.99 that one was 25 even and then this one was 25 dollars and 50 cents big difference not really but big difference in the gold all right so i'm gonna weigh each one and we'll get a value on each one. First one we're gonna measure is the golden pay dirt. We're gonna zero it out. Okay, so 0 0.07 grams. It's already zeroed out, but I'll do it again. And then here comes the screaming meanie, or the screaming eagle. Whoa, one tenth of a gram. I mean, to the thousandth, that is one tenth of a gram. And now for the dirty mines. This is gonna weigh more than both of them. I'll go ahead and predict that. 0.247, almost a quarter of a gram, 0.247. It's absolutely ridiculous, the first two. The, the third one, I don't even know what the value is on that. You get a quarter of a gram, and then you don't even get a quarter of a gram on the other two. It equaled two of the golden pay dirts and one of the screaming eagle, that dirty mines. So let's get on the gold calculator and see how bad it actually was. I just looked at the gold prices. That is so amazing. So we're gonna do the first one. That is 0 0.07 grams of gold. That's pathetic. We'll call it 24 karat. Gold prices, $2,622.17. Calculate, $5.90. That's pathetic. So the second one, the Screaming Eagle, was 0.1 grams of gold, 24 karat. Gold prices hasn't changed in eight seconds. $8.43, so a little better now for the Dirty Mines. 0.247 grams of gold, 24 karat. Calculate $20.82. Look at that. Fantastic. Let's do the percentages. So for the golden pay dirt, I paid. Hold on, let me put the value in. $5.90. I paid $25.50. It's already terrible. 23%. So for the screaming eagle, $8.43. I paid $25 even. We'll calculate that. 33%. Still terrible, but not as terrible. All right, now for dirty mines. Twenty dollars and thirty-two cents. Paid twenty-four ninety-nine for it. Two four nine nine. The cheapest of all three. Look at that. Eighty-one percent. All right. So I'm gonna go to my eBay. This is what I want you to see. So this is the golden pay dirt. This is what confused me right here. This 
picture. I don't know why, because this wasn't present when I was looking. It didn't say sold by, but it was still my fault. But if you click on it, you look at the description. So here it is. One pound original inserts, go panning, pay dirt, concentrate, customer feedback. This is where I was reading this. Lots of gold nuggets and flakes, four grams total. I don't know what bag they were looking at, but it wasn't this. Really nice pay dirt over a gram of gold panned on the very first try. Three generations had fun. Lots of gold, A plus, nice nuggets. Very nice. My husband found four nuggets. And then it talks about the pay dirt. What will I find in pay dirt? Look for the Bonanza. Trust in U.S. Mine pay dirt. We support our service members, active and veterans. There it is. Even has the return policies, terms, and legal. Now, looky here. Screaming Eagle Gold Panning Pay Dirt. Veteran owned and operated gold company. Wilderness Prospecting. So my thought was, okay, this isn't golden pay dirt this is somebody else wilderness prospecting never heard of them but let's check it out let's click on it and there it is it shows you their logo it shows you some guy doing something looks like a totally different pay dirt all right we'll give these guys a try item description from the seller guaranteed gold inside tamper proof bags gold panning pay dirt from historic gold belt gold nuggets pickers flakes and finds may be found wilderness prospecting we are a veteran owned and operated company our trust in u.s mine pay dirt exact same thing that golden pay dirt just put items expectation use what is gold Pay dirt, focus of gold, blah, 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 blah. Same description as the other one. Not verbatim, but pretty close. Customer feedback, fast shipping, lots of gold nuggets, gold flakes, four grams total. The exact same description as golden pay dirt. We support our troops, members of active, exact same thing that golden pay dirt said. Return policies, terms, and legal. The exact same thing that golden pay dirt said. This is golden pay dirt. Unless this guy took that whole description and copied and pasted it to his. I don't buy it. Golden pay dirt details, golden customer feedback, the exact same feedback. What is gold pay dirt? Item expectations, use, return policies, terms legal. Go back to this one. Trusted US mine pay dirt. Item expectation use. What is gold pay dirt? What will I find? Customer feedback. The exact same thing. It makes me so mad because they are doing this and they're getting away with it and it drives me crazy. The the one good thing that's going to come out of this pay dirt review is at least now you know. If you ever see Screaming Eagle, it's not Screaming Eagle. It's Golden Pay Dirt putting a different company name. You guys don't know that it's actually Golden Pay Dirt. They've done Golden Badger, but that was a little bit more obvious. This was flat out trying to change their name, even had a different product prospecting company name on there to try to throw you off. The only way that could not be Golden Pay Dirt is if whoever Screaming Eagle is copy and pasted everything that Golden Pay Dirt's item description had and put it on theirs because they didn't want to do one. I don't think that's how that came to be. Um, if anybody thinks any different or knows any different, let me know in the comments. If, if you guys already knew, let me know in the comments. That's the first for me. Like I said, the Screaming Eagle, I thought I was buying a totally different pay dirt because I was trying to avoid golden pay dirt. The golden pay dirt, I just screwed up and bought. I didn't look at the seller thing. I just saw 25 because I was looking for 25, 25, 25 so I can get three of them at the same price. And I saw it and I clicked it and did it so that was my fault i think he's an idiot i'm glad it happened because i would have never known that those two companies were the exact same you saw the pay dirts on both of them as well it's the exact same material the exact same type of gold it's almost like they have a machine that does the exact same thing to this gold it's always super flat and wide and very light they know that they're ripping people off so they're trying to find different ways to sell it to people because their golden pay dirt name isn't as good as it once was if it was they would only use one name and not try to use 50 different names they would just stick with what's working mm -hmm. but I'm sure there's been so many people that's complained about their pay dirts that they's like, oh, well, we want to still sell pay. Let's just change our name. Let's just change everything. 
so people don't know it's coming from us. Pathetic. Forget about those two. Dirty mind. 83%. Excellent return. That's the way a pay dirt should be. Yeah, I'm glad I at least got one good one out of the three. So obviously, you know, long story short, who's the winner? Dirty minds. By a mile. They beat them three times as bad. I mean, they, they tripled up on them almost. Yeah, great pay dirt. It was a little stinky, but... I would rather have stinky gold than what I got in that golden pay dirt any day of the week. So kudos to Dirty Mines. Great job. There's your winner. 23%, 21%, 30%. That's not a pay dirt. That, that's somebody ripping a customer off. It's like you going and buying a pizza from a pizza place and they give you one slice in a full box. That's a good comparison, right? It's like going out and buying a car and they roll up with two tires and no engine. Yeah. <laughs> it's like buying a pay dirt bag and only getting 20% return. All right, that does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from this. If anything, I sure as hell did. Thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like button, share button. Also, the notification bell. That way, every time I put out a new video like one of these, you guys will be the first to know. I appreciate everybody who has subscribed. I appreciate everybody who watches my channel. Thank you guys so much, and until my next review, this is Heath saying peace and love, and piss off Golden Pater. I will see you guys on my next review. Bye. That would be like if you took your kid to McDonald's, and you ordered them a Happy Meal, and the box came, and no food, no toy, or drink came with it. That would be like if you bought a brand new TV, and it doesn't turn on. That would be like if you bought a brand new set of headphones, and you can't hear anything out of them. That would be like if you bought a pair of underwear, and it had holes in them. It looked like Swiss cheese. That would be like if you bought a pair of socks, and you only got a quarter of one sock. That's good enough.